Almost there. Oh boy, this is gonna be exciting. Come on, let's do it. Bounty Hunter? No, I don't want that. I want my level 222! Woohoohoo! That feels so freaking good. Holy shit. Oh, yes. What is up, guys? I'm right here, and welcome to another episode of Road to Max Damage. This is part two of me paying back my 30 bill uh, debt. Uh, we're at 20 bill left. So here I have 7 bill on my name. So today for this episode of Road to the Max Damage, we are going to be finishing up the last of our debt to, uh, that we're going to pay back. So let's get right down to business. See, what did I tell you guys? 400 mil for a clean tyrant cape. So if you're looking to get yourself funded, now's a very good time to buy tyrant capes. But for me, I'm going to be holding on to these uh, clean capes for a while. It's just not worth it for me to just sell them clean like this. Alright, so let's start off the episode by checking out what my finisher has for me. And it's a superior belt, which is awesome. So that's going to be around 200 mil-ish, hopefully. Uh, just going to be uh, splitting it in half. Uh, giving the other half to him when this sells, but uh, we have a pendant that I got from a live stream a while ago, so we're going to be uh, working on this. Oh my god! <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh my god! What the hell? Holy shit! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? <gasps> Oh my god, I was just redeeming my Mugong points and I just- Oh! Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> oh my god! I went from plus one speed, 10 drop, 10 buff duration, to plus one speed, 19 crit, 15 drop. That's like the best- That's a perfect li- Oh my god! I- Oh, I never thought I would get this. Not like with it. Oh my god. Done. My inner abilities officially done. Yes. I'm so fu- I actually ha got three Meister Cubes from today's boss run. Uh, I probably used up, used up all my luck for now, but... Oh my god. I I'm going to be cubing my Terminus Defender. Because I basically don't really need to cube anything else that's uh, legendary. So, <laughs> oh my god. Since I used up all my luck just now getting that inner ability, I'm probably going to get like three prime lines of like the most useless skill of all time. But can you imagine if I got like three lined uh, attack or like two line boss, one line uh, PDR? Anyway, so I have three cubes. Let's do this. One line of ignore defense. Nope, don't want it. 20% strength and 30% uh, boss. That's cool, but nah. Not better than my current shield, so last cube. 13 attack. Okay. Ah, meh, meh. Okay, I, I expected as much. There's no, there was no possible way that I would be lucky two times around. Alright, so with the superior pendant that I got from my stream, uh, I'm going to be scrolling it. Uh, there's always only two things that I do whenever I get a pendant from Golux Drop. I either sell it clean, or I sell it perfected. And since we're in a rush to get a lot of messels, I'm going to be trying to perfect it using the least amount of costs possible. So, here we go. Six slots to go <laughs> six slots to do. And hopefully we'll get some good luck starting now. Oh, thank you. Um these advanced gold scrolls I get them every day from doing Helux. Uh I rarely sell 
event Galux service, mainly because it's just easier for me to just stockpile on uh, as much as I can. Okay, so 5 out of 6, that's really, really good. So yeah, like, I can self... Uh, I, this is self-sufficient, to which, like, all the costs are, like, not uh, imposing onto my profits. So, let's see if at least one of them will pass, which this one did. So we can use another one. Hopefully this will pass. Oh, thank you. So we have a plus six, just like that. And so we have the CSS two slots back. I have one CSS here for, that I got from an elite earlier. Miracle. Holy crap, a miracle CSS pass. Now, let's not jinx it, and let's pass this as well. Okay, well, I didn't think it would be that easy. So let's go to the FM and uh, buy some CSS. Wow, not even five scrolls in and I already got a slot back. <laughs> that is amazing. Okay, so here we go. Okay, sweet. So we're plus seven now. So all we got to do is CSS one more slot back. And then we'll have a... And then we got to get that last slot to pass. And then we'll have a perfect superior pendant just like that. Wow, that is lucky. Uh, my philosophy with selling stuff gear especially is that you either sell stuff clean or you sell it perfected because people who are looking to buy things aren't looking for stuff that is half-assed they would rather pay a good price uh to for something that's completed or they would rather just pay for something that is uh clean Oh, finally! Okay, I spent like, what, 500, 600 mil for this? Still gonna rake in a huge profit if this passes, so please, please, please. Oh, thank you. Alright, so, spent about 600 mil, uh, but now I have a perfect pendant, which sells for about like, I don't know, uh... Let's check. Do I have an owl? I don't. Okay. Alright, plus 5, plus 5, uniques. Oh. Oh, plus six, plus eight, four bill for, oh wow, that's pretty amazing actually. Four bill for a perfected one. Uh, you know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to epic potential it as well then. This stuff is cheap. So I can maximize it and try and match it. Here, okay, let's buy one. My budget is two scrolls. If I don't get it, I'll just sell it like that. Uh, here we go. Darn it. Alright, try number two. Here we go. Come on. Okay. So, I'll just leave it at that. You gotta learn when to quit one. Like, this, uh, p making the pendant epic and three line was optional. And since I w wasn't lucky, I decided to stop and not be greedy. And, uh, I'll just sell it like that. It's no biggie. I'll still get a good amount of meso for it. So, here I am collecting my weekly dojo mules, and I actually realized something. Uh, soon enough, I'll need them to level 200 because of Maple Union and, and all that stuff. Which means I'll get to experience a lot of classes to their fullest. And... I feel like a lot of classes, you can't like have the whole experience of them until you actually get them to like a certain level. Like right now I'm sort of like bummed about uh, Cannoneer lines, but like they have a hyper that gives them, uh, what is it, three times the lines. No, they, they add three lines on their skill. So it's like their bossing skill gets much more lines, their mobbing skill gets much more lines, which is great. And at the same time, when I'm going to be leveling all these mules for uh, Maple Union, uh, they're going to be at a higher level, which then it will be a higher tier for uh, Dojo, which means I get to make more... Uh, <laughs> I get to get more points from Dojo, which means I get more uh, Medal of Honors from dojo but yeah anyways i feel like making dojo meals is certainly like a good amount i mean i'm 
about halfway done collecting my mules and I'm at 13, which is amazing because those things are around like 100 mil at least, but it's a lot of work, uh, it's a lot of maintenance, but hey, uh, since I have the characters, I might as well do it, right? But yeah, that's one of the ways I uh, make mess, so... Alright, so I have my shop set up, I have uh, this ring as well, I'm selling my old uh, solid ring because I don't think I'll be working on tearing it up anytime soon and if I want to get a drop ring, I'll probably get a black gate ring. Uh, I have the perfected pendant right here, then I have all these uh, 5 star unique uh, tyrant capes as well as a 6 strength, 6 dex. Uh, cape. I thought this was a pretty good roll uh, as a temporary cape, so I'm gonna put it up just in case someone wants it. Uh, then I have the belt and just a bunch of redeemed stuff. Actually, no, this stuff isn't redeemed. I uh, Seville drops the Japanese-related class uh, weapons, which is funny. So I still ha so I have a few of these. Uh, these are from uh, really old muling that I did, and then I redeemed like. A few warrior CRA just to undercut people and to get some money. Then I have the Medal of Honors that I'm getting for the week. So hopefully uh, overnight a lot of this stuff will sell. Hopefully I'll get a few offers on these items and we'll see how things go. <sighs> oh man, I slept in so that's not good because I have a lot of music writing to do. And I have some editing I need to do as well, but... Uh, whatever, I'll just have to get on with it later, but uh, overnight I sold what all the CRA That's from someone from my alliance mate. I recognize uh, Why did I say alliance mate? Uh, I sold the superior belt, so I have to pay half of this to my finisher. That's 110 mess million vessels, and then I sold my only arcane River Droplet Stone. <laughs> well, th this is good because everyone that's Mega's buying these things are tr tries to lowball you and buy them for like 100 mil or less, so I'm glad this sold for 200. But nothing on the big prizes yet though, but I think today's gonna be a nice change because it's gonna be Tuesday after reset, which means more Maplehood. Uh, someone better call Pete because we're abusing events like mad. So right now I'm still abusing events as much as I can. Uh, definitely Maplehood is super super good as an event for you to make meso and to even like just get a lot of stuff because it's a lot of free stuff that I definitely want to get. So. I was training bowman mules a while ago because they are explorers, but now I'm training luminous because I don't need a lot of peace hawks the second week around. I just need uh, as many mules as possible. So luminous should be a really fast uh, class to level up, so I'm just testing it out. So yeah, I leveled up the Bowman for the shared cash inventory, and now I have enough characters to get enough P socks for next week. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot that happens. Gee, bus. That was kind of dark. But yeah, since I have enough P socks for next week, I'm going to uh, just level up Luminous because it is a much faster class than Bowmasters, I believe. So, well, we'll see how things go. Well, I made two Luminous mules now, they're both level 33, and I must say, I think it's actually faster. I th It's either that or it just fits my style more. I like getting lots of XP through quests, and uh, well, I'm going to be filling up all the pages here. I just have four more mules to go, and I can't wait to rake in all of this cash coming soon, but... Uh, never mind that, let's go do something else because uh, I don't want it just to be about one event. I don't want you guys to finish this episode and be like, Oh, I'm so inspired, I think I found the secret to merching. and Or like, oh, you only can do it with this event so I should just give up. It's just like, I think after this video is done, I think I just want you guys to just feel like, Meh, it's alright. So yeah, let's do other things for this episode to see what I can show you to do make mess with.
But while we're on the subject of Maplehood, uh, it's now officially Tuesday on Maple Story. And guess who's about to go insane by farming over 60 characters across a lot of accounts? I think it's more than 60, so I'll tell you what my loot is once I'm done. Oh boy, someone help me, please. Yo, check out this guy, man. He just, this person just dropped me two ANEBs. I'm so happy. I knew it. It was someone who watched my videos. Much appreciated. Thank you. Gotta give this person a shout out for that. That's gonna... That's awesome. <laughs> I'm surprised. How did they even get here? They're not on my buddy list. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I got an ANEB as a... I think I got an ANEB from... Uh... Yeah, right here. I got an ANEB and it got announced. And I guess the person just recognized my IGN. Then again, all my Link Skill Mules do follow this pattern. So it might have been easy. But that's awesome. Holy crap. Anyways, huge shout out to this person. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now I'm just getting funded by fans. I feel so dishonored. <laughs> well, I didn't finish all my Maplehood meals at 5 in the morning, so I just set up a quick shop and went to bed, and now I woke up at 1 and feel terrible because I didn't finish any schoolwork, and I valued Maple Story over my actual life. But we have finally sewed the perfect pendant, so that was pretty easy. I spent one bill or something on this, like I said, and now I got 2.7 back. So, I think I can pay back uh, Mark right now. Let's go to storage and check. Ah, yes. So, we do have over 10 bill now. So, I can pay back Mark. And then just another 8 more bill. And I can pay back May. Now, for... So, something interesting happened in uh, my previous episode of Road to Max Damage. Someone thought it was... Uh, good idea to come in and parade themselves onto the comments and telling me how to perform and to tell me to shut the f*** up about my personal life and no one cares about that stuff kind of stuff we are only you guys are only here for road to max damage but yeah since i sort of already spoiled it i i'm not completely done all the mules yet but i'll show you my haul so far uh i got a few cra's uh Dagger, shoulders, a few Empress gear, as well as some ANAVs. These are the gold mines that I was looking for. Uh, definitely a bunch of potions as well, giant potions. A few stamps, which is very nice. As well, uh, there's some over here as well. And here's some more chairs. Uh, does this guy have anything else more? I don't know. Yeah, and then uh, Deathbringers and a few more capes and gloves. These ones are from a meal that I completely forgot that had some tops left over, so it was a nice thing to find. It's like finding a toonie in your couch. But yeah, let me just finish up farming up these mules, then we can get going with the episode. Oh. Well, that's, uh, really fortunate. <laughs> let's go pay back Mark first, then. Okay, let's do it. Woo! Wait, was this Mark? Oh yeah, of course. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I checked, I checked. Alright, I'm finally done with all my characters. Are you ready to see the haul that I got? Get ready, here it comes. Alright. So, uh, potions. We got a bunch of legends uh, potions. We got three drop potions and a couple of these untradeable scrolls I got for myself. Got three silver stamps, which is all right. Uh, let's head over to the Eclipse here. Uh, a few Empress Gloves. This isn't all of them. I don't think I kept everything, did I? I know on some of the mules, uh, uh, there were a lot of items. I was just like, whatever. Uh, but anyway, so Fafnir Gun, two Fafnir Desperados, uh, one-handed axe, helmet, Bow, sword, dual guns, and uh, katara and dagger. The dagger was a really nice uh, win for me. And then a couple of Empress Capes and shoulders. I do like the shoulders. Those were a good haul. And then Basil Art and some boots. So, eh, that's alright, right? right? Uh, and then as well, lots of chairs as well here. And a total of one. 5, 8, 11, 14 ANABs. Uh, that's not bad actually. Um, 
it's a shame I didn't get more because I would have loved to get more. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there's tons of chairs in across all my characters' inventories. Uh, but I'm ready to show you guys why I'm so excited about these A nebs. But first things first is uh, I gotta show you these 50 premium fusion tickets that I bought ahead in time. And I want to know the price of them right now because I swear if they're not if they haven't gone up, I would be severely disappointed in myself and in the market itself as well. Here we go. Moment of truth. 78. Are you freaking kidding me? No! I bought these at 80 and more. Darn it! Ah, what a loss for me. Well, what a shame, I guess. What a shame. So, uh, next week there's another <laughs> Gatchapon day. Maplehood runs for two weeks, so it's just basically the three events repeated two, two times. And I don't think I'm ever going to do it again with that many characters. I think I went over like 60 characters. 60 times 3 is 180 times 200. Oh, that's like 36,000 mobs I killed just for this event. That's way too much. But anyways, um, since I am already losing money because of this, I don't understand why it didn't go up. I thought like more people would be smart enough to Oh, I'm just, maybe I just psyched myself out, but uh, we're going to be fusing some A nebs. I'm going to be selling these nebs for uh, what, 100 mil each? So that's what, uh, one point something bill? I forgot what my number was. Let's do it again. So here's 10, 12, wait, 3, 3, 4, 12. Okay, so that's 1.2 bill I could potentially get, or I could tr try my luck and get something even better. And for the sake of... Uh, my viewers amusement I will be fusing all of these nebs uh, but first let me just fuse the crappy D nebs I have over here Let's see if I can get anything good here D face nope let's go D again oh C dex that's good uh, that's a sellable thing Okay, perfect. Alright, now here comes the moment of truth. So, I've spent, what, around 2 to 3 to 4 bill on these tickets. So, I need to get something good in order to make back the money. Or, I, or we'll just have to start from scratch. Either way, I'm okay with it. So, I'm really nervous here. <laughs> so... We're going to be fusing ANAMs and we're trying to go for the big prizes here. So, I guess nothing better to do than to pray that RNG is with me. Please, 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 let's go. Come on, give us something good. A max MP. Okay, so that's nothing good. Alright, we'll go for another fuse here. Come on, something good. All stats, let's go. Come on. A speed. Nope. That's not something we need. Okay, come on. Third try is the charm, right? Weapon defense. <laughs> uh, this is so silly. Alright, here we go. Try number four here. Come on. Something good. Something good. All damage. That's junky. I'll keep that for now. Maybe someone will want it for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what the reason would be, but... <laughs> Come on! Something good! Ah, flat decks. The trashy one, too, because it's bugged. Alright, come on. Let's feel some more. Give me something good. Flat strength? No one would want flat strength. Come on. Come on, for me, please. Please. Come on. Jump? Who on earth needs jump? <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. Maybe for like Trump's wall you'll need more jump, but like not here. All skill levels? No one wants that. Come on, please, please, please. RNG, RNG, RNG. Come on, come on, come on, please. <laughs> ah! <laughs> uh, Alright, well I guess we'll fuse the last two here and... 
The worst that will happen is that I'll lose out on those tickets and then uh, all I get to do is sell one neb and then sell the rest. But please make it up. Damn it! Oh, okay. Well, now you know you should not ever gamble with premium fusion tickets. I don't know why. A lot of people uh, on my chats have been like, Oh yeah, I've been getting so many good uh, nebs from fusing and this and that. And well, now that I tried it for myself and you can see, uh, it's, pr it's pretty much all luck. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to cut my losses, undercut the person selling premium fusion tickets, and try and get back some money. Oh, stupid. Nabbing, oh, fusing, oh, fusing, oh, polymerization, something. Oh, whoops, I didn't realize there was a nab hidden right here. That sneaky little thing. Oh, I'm still trying to keep this PG-13. But, uh, I guess we still have one more shot uh, to get a really good A nab. So, I really hope this will work out. Uh, all stat, strength percent, like, anything, just... As long as it's worth more than one bill, I'll be more than happy. Please. Please. Something good. Something good. Come on. Let's go. Come on, please. Ah! Invincibility? Please tell me that's the good kind, too. Oh, no, it's not. The 2% chance thing. I can't even sell it to someone who runs Oz. Darn it. Oh, that freaking sucks. Well, while I'm here, I crafted a cube because I was decaying, so uh, I'm going to be working on my shield starting from now because I don't think there's anything else that I can work on, right? Uh, this, this is done. I don't really have anything here. The drop gear, I don't even want to change yet because I just want to drop. Yeah, we're going to work on this. So hopefully two lines of boss and one line of PDR is all I could ask for. That's all I would ever want. Please? No. I did get the PDR line, though. Well, all the shame of failing those A-nebs and everything have been done. I will, do not wish to ever do this ever again. Oh, hey, look. I already have five bell. Okay. Almost there. We're almost there. Man, this is kind of easy. Well, a very fortunate thing has happened just now. Um... Today was a very good day at Hellox, actually. Um, I ended up getting two superior pendants. Uh, we can throw away that cracked one. No one wants crack. Don't do drugs, kids. Um, so I'm really happy because one was from me and one was from my finisher, which means half of this pendant goes to him. Uh, and the pendant is around one bill right now, so that's 500 mil to him. But... Uh, I think that this is going to be a way better choice for me to try and cube, not cube, oh silly me, scroll uh, a pendant. So I guess round two for a pendant here, so here we go. One, come on, please, please, I need the money, I need to pay them back, come on, two, please, three, three, yes, okay, this is looking good, four. Fudge. It's okay. Five. Come on. Yes. Okay. Six. Oops. Six. Come on. Yes. Okay. So we got five out of six. Uh, now do I want to use these hammers or not? Because I want to save these hammers for the upcoming badge. But I guess for now, uh, I need them. I need the meso more than anything. So I would rather guarantee the hammer slots more than anything, and then if uh, the hammers later on for the badge fails, I'll at least I'll still have some money to uh, scroll it back with CSS. So here we go, we have three slots left, I have three scrolls left, so I need a perfect run. I just need a perfect run. Please, Nexon. Come on. Okay, one. Come on. Two. Come on. Last scroll. Come on, let's go! Come on! Fudge! Alright, so I don't want to take any chances, so I'm gonna let my finisher uh, do the magic here. This guy has an amazing pass rate with CSS, so I'm just gonna let him... But yeah, that's the whole reason why I like keeping uh, my advanced Golic scrolls and not selling service. It's because 
when it comes to me, since I am capable of killing Hellux, I have the potential to be getting superior gear, so I can get much more mileage out of scrolling it myself. Alright, there we go, there's the slot back, now he can charge me whatever the heck he likes since, uh, he's my finisher, so... Well, let's see how much I'm gonna have to pay for this. Okay, 260, that's not bad actually. I would much prefer to pay for CSS service rather than doing it myself. Alright, we gotta find one more scroll somehow. Uh, no one on my buddy list or my alliance seems to have one available, so... We're gonna have to figure out our way around this, and this is why I really love messel making. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so... This is my Night Lord, as you may have recognized it from a previous episode or so. Uh, this guy is completely decked out in pretty much everything except for face accessories because these gears are all Simon's old gear. So thank you so much, Simon, for uh, providing these very much. You will be remembered, Kappa. Uh, <laughs> no, no, but really, uh, I really do appreciate it because now I can uh, relax and have this guy... Uh, Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. What the? Oh look, this guy also has a Fafnir polearm that I didn't even move to uh, storage. Oh jeez. But yeah, there's a lot of my old stuff right here. But anyways, so the reason why I'm here is because uh, where is the shop? It's lagging really badly. Um, I've been using him for the occasional Golux run. Uh, as you can see, I still have some rings that are not bought out, some earrings that aren't bought out. Uh, these will suffice to be very good uh, m amounts of money soon. I just need to find some time to be able to play on this character as well as doing everything on my hero normally. My plan was to do my boss run with my hero, transfer my tradable drop gear to this guy, and then do a boss run with him. But recently I've been so busy that I can't like do it. But I am here to pick up a... Uh, Advanced Golux Scroll, and that is where we will be finding our last one. Uh, and so hopefully this will pass. I know this character doesn't have a hundred uh, diligence, so it's going to be a little bit shoddy. So let's head over to storage here, and we'll also deposit the pull arm while we're at it. But uh, we'll also take out the pendant. Oh, jeez. Come on, Amite. You know better than that. It's a pendant. It's a pendant. So let's just check how much diligence I have. I have a measly level 17%. Hopefully this will pass. Please let it pass because I really want the money. So here we go. Oh, that was, that was actually much more stressful than it was. So uh, I'm really annoyed. So yeah, I guess this pendant basically only took nine days and 260 mil, I think, was how much I paid. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of gains. Uh, as for the other pendant, I think I'm just going to sell it clean. Just because, like, I don't really have any more advanced Golux scrolls, so... Oh well. Alright, I have my shop set up finally. I made a mistake and forgot these Tyrant Caves. Man, it's so hard to sell these Tyrant Caves, I just realized. But uh, basically I just have just Fafnirs and stuff set up and you the usual undercutting story. Uh, hopefully uh, somebody will leave an offer on these items or will just buy some of my capes. So then I can pay back uh, my friend finally and then we can continue on with Road to Max Damage, uh, but I'm going to be working on music stuff now, so uh, let's see how things go. Well, I crashed overnight, so that was unfortunate. I don't know if it was a Channel 1 crash or if my client crashed, but either way, it's a new day, and guess what we have, guys? We have new events, so guess what that means? That's right. I better call Pete. That, that doesn't sound as Mimi. Alright, I'm calling it right now, guys. This Meister Cube I just got from, uh, Commercy PQ will be the one to get my Shield 3 lines. Uh, just like the, my emblem. Watch. Darn it! Ah, oh, I crashed overnight again. This is so frustrating. Anyways, I didn't sell much. I only sold the clean CRA I had in my inventory, so I made about 50 mil overnight. Uh, couldn't see if anyone left any offers, but, uh, since there's no lag, I'm trying to take advantage of it right now by doing Dojo. 
We'll have to see how things go after maintenance. I hope they just fix everything. <laughs> Lots of wishful thinking with Nexon. Awesome, I just checked my shop. I bought this uh, when maintenance was just about to happen so I could have it ready when the server's back up. So, oh man, finally, what did I sell? I sold my perfect pendant, 3.7. What else? Oh! I sold all my medals of honors. I never would have thought I sold it for this much because like it was just the beginning of uh, the maintenance. So I thought like there was going to be a lot more circulating. But let's let's check who bought this actually. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. But that's awesome. That means I actually am done. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let's tidy up here. And that means I have to put another potion in here. And I actually have to ask someone. Mark, can you come buy my potion, please? Looks like my fr uh, looks like my disciple or twin is actually buying it for me. All right, so it is bought, which is good. So now we can leave shop and uh, be safe, and we don't have to worry again. And I oh yeah, there was a lot of people who were asking on my previous videos, why on earth did I not just buy the ten bill items in the stores? And that is the reason. You just saw that I have one meso in the shop. Uh, the maximum capacity a shop can hold is 10 build, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So if there's one bill and I set something for 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, buying it will result in going over the inventory limit. So it would not complete the transaction. And that's the reason why people are able to put out uh, items for 10 bill and you can't buy them un unless specified. But look, we made back the meso. And we actually have 15 mil. Uh, we have 15 mil. Wait, no, 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 no. That's three nine nine nine. So that's actually four. So we actually have one bill. We have 11 bill. This is perfect. I'm really excited because I can finally pay back May, and I can also go record. Sorry, I can finally go edit this episode and release it. I, <laughs> I'm really happy. Well, due to moral obligations, I actually have to take one more loan. Uh, this is gonna be a uh, quick loan though. I think I can make it back easily. So, uh, well, what do you know? I can pay him back already. Perfect, perfect. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, we have to pay him back with interest, right? Your interest rates are whack, man. All right, time to pay back May. Woohoo! All done. Woo! I finally own this ring now. This is mine to say. It, it's mine. Oh my. Look at this, guys. I'm done. This is done. Holy crap. This feels amazing. 20 bill. 60 bill. This was what? 25? 27? I don't remember. And then this was 36. So... 150 bill? Is this for real? I've spent over that much for these four rings? That's crazy. I guess like one ring did lead to another because I just resold. No, I didn't even resell them. I was using them as drop gear. Wait, so I made over 150 bill over these past few months? That can't be real. That can't be real. Well, that is it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of uh, Road to Max Damage. I don't know how long this episode has been, but I don't really care because I did want to finish this as a two-part series. Uh, mini-series, sorry. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode. Hope to see you soon. Uh, I have to get a lot of schoolwork done now, so I'm glad I'm done uh, out of this obligation to play Maple for a while. But still, still going to be around. Uh, thank you. See you next time. Bye.